All right, so this Keurig here it uses about uh, 1,500 watts just to heat up the, uh, the water for about three minutes. And then a continuous two to 400 watts to uh, while it's pouring your coffee. The batteries handle that well. And then uh, the solar panels will recharge it. This is heating up. So thanks to all the useful comments and some uh, old, good old fashioned trial and error, uh, I have a better understanding of what I need to uh, run my um, 1200 BTU uh, air conditioner. So uh, looking forward to getting some uh, more panels, uh, bigger batteries, and some thicker wires, and uh, better uh, charge controller. So yeah, thank you guys. You guys have been a big help. Okay, so with the system the way I got it right now, it can't run the AC all day at this point, but I am planning to get it to that point but it can do a lot. I can uh, make my iced coffee off of it for one, but I would have to bring my ice, uh, my Nutribullet out here every time I want to make it. Again, I'm planning on getting uh, more solar panels. It's gonna have to be slowly though. Uh, I found a 310 watt panel that I want to buy and I found it for around $210 but I'm not so sure about the seller yet. I gotta look into it more. And uh, also some more equipment like a uh, new charge controller and uh, maybe two to zero gauge wires uh, thanks to the, um, the help of the comments. Uh, I know a little bit more about what I need to get and also a 200 amp hour that I found a 200 amp hour battery that I found for about $369 now with the system that I'm using right now if you're wondering how much it cost I'm estimating that for now I'm gonna just say that the equipment that I'm using not what I spent the equipment that I'm actually using is around uh, let's say I'd say about eight hundred to a thousand dollars for the equipment that I'm using at this point. Now again, I appreciate all the comments. I've. It's good iced coffee. Solar iced coffee is delicious. So it didn't get too hot in here, and uh, yeah, I am planning on now. Uh, getting some uh, 12 volt fans for this area, but uh, I haven't really been, uh, like I said, I haven't really been using this this thing much. I'm not gonna use it until um, I see that it can efficiently run uh, my ACs. Now the only thing I've been using it for recently is maybe uh, to run my power tools because it runs that perfect. It runs power tools awesome. Oh. Here's my Dremel that I've been hacking holes with. I'm going to show you guys what that can do in a minute. I got a new Dremel bit. This, thing, this bit was like $15. If you don't have a Dremel yet, you should probably get one. Because these things are awesome. Very good for multiple purposes. I will be trying out some of the tricks that I was uh, suggested on the comments. Uh, at a later date, of course. But uh, thank you guys for watching RF Tech Guy. Uh, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Let's see what speed I need. I'm not very good at this, by the way. You can probably tell by the holes I hacked in the walls. I don't know what speed I need to write. Let's find out. Let's see if I can do this. Here it goes.
There you go. Little bit of practice, still looks like a kid wrote it, but who cares? So subscribe.